Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a cruel for YouTuber that's trying to be a long nobody. And today it's my third day in my second Halloween week that is also my melt week. And I'm going to use the Muerte palette from Melt today. This was the holiday palette 2019 together with the Vida palette. And this was the Amor Eterno collection and the Muerte palette. Looks like this. I think this was like, this was pretty hyped and this actually came back a couple of months ago. It was like Melt was yeah, we find some stock over this. I hate it when brands do like this because yeah, did you find like a box or did you save it for the hype? Um, and <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do a look with this and I've been sitting here for so long not knowing what I want to do. But I actually think what I want to do, I was like, okay, am I going to do a red look? Am I going to do a green look? But I actually think that I will go kind of green. But, yeah. I think so because I honestly I don't know <laughs> so I'm just going to prime my eyes and then we just up into this so okay just like for a little <laughs> heads up I'm not in the best mood today but I still wanted to film because I want to do this so I have this week done and I know that my mood is not going to be that good for a couple of days. I know that and like this is not going to change like anything. I'm not going to feel better. I'm not going to feel worse if I'm filming today. So I was just like, yeah, I'm going to film today because <laughs> I'm just going to. So, okay, I did watch the two other videos where that I have used this palette, like to see what I have done. And I've done a halo eye and also like a really dark look so I thought that maybe not going to be a super dark look today and I swatched a little so I think I'm going to use these three colors and this one actually first I was like maybe I should like do a really red eye but I think I want to do a red eye when I'm using the waiting room palette I'm not decided I talked about that I was going to do a gray look with that but I don't think I want to do that I haven't decided yet nobody knows not even me so I will start with these two in my crease and see how that looks and this palette if you saw my video that came up yesterday where I used the Vida palette you might know that that I wasn't like super thrilled and like maybe wasn't like is this really some amazing palettes and I'm not like that stuff to use this palette. I hate when I'm doing a theme and like in the middle of the theme I'm like maybe this wasn't a good idea. I should have maybe said a little bit higher. I like don't know how this can be my biggest struggle when it comes to my YouTube like to how to sit and everything. Maybe it's just me having a shitty day. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to start with this light green. And have you bought this palette now when it came back? Because this felt like one of these unicorn palettes that people really, really wanted and uh, didn't get and uh, being bummed out about it. So, did you want it? Didn't get it, but now at the little restock they did, were you able to snatch it? And do you think it was worth waiting for? I like don't know with Melt. I've talked about this in my video yesterday and I guess I'm going to talk about this in every video. So I'm sorry for you who are watching all this video that like, I don't know if Melt really is a brand for me. And I don't know if I'm realizing this now in my low buy or in my no buy or what it is. But uh, I don't know. I don't have like super special memories when it comes to melt. Like you know that you can have with certain brands. Um, but yeah, 
actually don't know what I think. And my feelings both melt. Okay, this so far looks really good. And I think the only thing with this one, it looks a little bit intimidating. Because it is a really, really dark palette. And I do love to do darker looks. But I do think that some of it has to do with the black background. I guess that makes them look a little bit darker than they maybe actually is. But I don't know. I'm going in now with deeper green. Maybe I can show you this one and deepen down this crease and it's now I don't know how this is going to go so I'm taking another fluffier a little bit smaller brush and I'm tapping this off because I don't want to have too much oh this actually looked really good I think it's so fun to look back like when it is a palette that I haven't used that much, like this, I think I've used it twice. Before, I always go back to see like the looks that I have done before. To see if I can do anything like different or nothing that I've done before. And now I'm using kind of like the same colors, but I'm not doing the same type of eyeshadow. But I can leave the two other videos that I've done with this. I did like a first impression and then I did a throwback. And I have like two completely different hairstyles in those videos. And that is also like I'm having a crisis right now with my hair. I I have these kinds of periods where I just hate it. And now I, I, I can't stand my own hair. And I'm actually thinking of calling and book an appointment soon to shop it off because like this length is a length of, that I hate it's not short but it's not long it's just hair such big problems eh? I don't know maybe this green is like deep enough for me because I want to do a half cut crease so I'm going in with the same green out here and then I'm going to cut my crease because I don't want shimmer all over my face. And okay, uh, should I do any kind of shape to this? No. Just doing like this. And are you like tired of seeing half cut creases from me? Sometimes when I think about how I'm, how I'm putting on makeup and how I'm doing looks, I'm like, I'm doing the same look over and over again, just with different colors, but I guess that is, that is how we do makeup, I guess. Because there isn't like too many ways and also, I like to do makeup like this, I guess. That is why I'm doing it all the time. Okay, I'm going to cut my crease. Okay, this is like typical me and it's now like, I really need to uh, wash my brushes because I'm going to cut my crease with an eyebrow brush. No, I don't have any small brushes to cut my crease with. This happens more than you um, know. So I actually think that I will go in with both shimmers in this palette as my cut crease. But I think I will focus on, on this one and maybe take this one just to connect it a little bit better with the darker green one. So I'm going to a cut with this little eyebrow brush. And this is working. It's just a little bit tricky like in here. But yeah, as you hear, I have been doing this more than once. I've always like been thinking now the last couple of weeks. Like okay I really need to wash my brushes. But then you know it's like too late and then you're going to do a makeup look and like yeah I need the brushes now. So I've just spin cleaned them with this NYX 
brush cleaner, but I really do need to do a deep clean. But I think it's so freaking boring to do that. Okay, so I'm going to start with the light shimmer. This is, looks so freaking flaky. And put it here. Maybe I will take it like... to here and leave a little bit and then I'm taking the green shimmer this is not all as flaky as the other one put it here how is this looking? is this looking good? And like I'm really starting to questioning my eyesight <laughs> Because uh, I have a mirror like here, but I'm also looking at the mirror on, from the ballot, like if I want to see it really close. But it feels like a defeat if I'm going to check my vision and if I need glasses. Like I am the only one in my family that doesn't wear glasses or lenses. And if I do get it checked up, I probably will get glasses. It's not that I'm blind or anything. It's just maybe not the best sight. And do you know what? I do really like this. I wasn't like super thrilled with the look that came up yesterday. I don't know if it is because I'm having a bad day or if it just wasn't a good look sometimes I don't know that like I can't keep track on of everything but this look I do really like it so I will cut my crease on this side fix my base and I don't know if I'm going to do a red lip today as well is this the red lip week did I have red lips in the first video yes I did so okay I will fix the other eye my base and then I come back with the finished look which actually feels kind of good right now I like this so maybe this brightens my mood a little bit I really hope this is the finished look and I am happier than I was before so for my face I did use ombre Truth and Ozone from Nabla, of course. For my wash line, I did use this one from NYX, and this is Weho? Weho? W E H O. Weho. And for my lips, I did use this one. This is Riptide from Lethal, so not a normal red because I wanted something a little bit brighter and I just love this look and I love how good this one and this one goes together and okay now I maybe get why this palette is more popular than the Vita palette or what's and I I really do like this look I think that this was really good like it's really deep but like not too deep and what I like more about this than the Vita palette that is the shimmers and this one is equally good and if you're wondering this is like not a shimmer when you have it on your eyes <laughs> or the shimmer isn't showing I don't know if I can it's one of these shadows that it is like a little bit of a glitter maybe more to the matte shade than an actual shimmer and now I'm going to have this and my fingers and everywhere but yeah I'm so much more happier with this palette and this look than I was with yesterday's look with the Vita palette and yeah I still though don't think that this is it's the same as I talked about the Vita yesterday if you haven't seen it it has been up here some part in this video it is like I think this was really special when it came out in 2019 now three years later it isn't like that special it is kind of unique but I don't think it's like the only palette that looks like this and this is 
so big I like don't know how to hold this um, but yeah I do really like this look I like it a lot and I guess it was the right choice then to do this video today because I wasn't in a good mood but now it feels better. So yeah, I do really hope that you like this video. I'm so happy with this look. Tomorrow it's going to be the recently... No, it's not. The waiting room. Um, so yeah. I hope that I will... Okay, wait. I hope that you like this video and I hope that I will see you tomorrow again. Bye!